Hello friends, so today we're going to discuss the problem first from the August circuit from Hacker Earth. The problem name is a subset in a sequence. So it's a good question to implement. You can also try this out first by yourself and then see the uh, solution. So you're given a set is consisting of non-negative powers of 3, which means that it is 1, 3, 9, 27, 81 and so on. Consider the sequence of all non-empty subset of S ordered by the value of the sum of the elements. What does this mean? It actually means that you have to take out all the subsets of this sequence and then like order them according to the sum of all the elements in the subsequence in the set. You have you are given a single element n and what you have to do here is you have to require to find out the subset which is at the nth position in the sequence which like after sorting out all the subsets according to the sum you have to find out the nth posi position subset and print it, account, print it out that subset in the increasing order of its element. So it has n test cases and n is up to 10 to power 12. Okay, as you can see in this. Now, first of all, you cannot like actually find out all the subsets and then do it because n is very large and they are also test cases. So how you can do it? So first try to, in all this question, first try to do some test cases. Okay, this is 1, 3, 9 and 27. So let's try to do some test cases first. It is 1, 3, 9, 27. Let's do it this way. Then first find out all the subsets and sort them out according to their sum. Okay, the smallest will be 1 only. If you take this subset which is 1. Then the next subset can be 3. Then it is 1 and 3. You just take out the sum of this because it is like 1 then 3 then you add the two numbers which is like 4. Then it will be 9. Then you will add 1 to 9 it is 1 and 9. And then it will be like 1 and n, uh, then it will be 3 and 9. And then it will be like 1, 3 and 9. And then it will be like 27. Then it will be like uh, like 27 and 1 and so on. So as you can see, these are the subsets. These are the position 1, second position, third position, fourth position and so on. So if you find out, like if you want the subset at position 6th, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So it is 3 and 9. As you can see it is 3 and 9. So you have to print out the total number of elements in this subset and then the uh, subset itself. Now what you can observe here is the first is the first number. The second is the second number. The third is these two numbers. Can you see there is a pattern here? It is actually taking the numbers in the form of uh, numbers actually if you take a bit manipulation if you see that the first number is 1 the next number is 1 and 0 the next, next number is 1 0 then it's like 1 0 0 then it's 1 0 1 and it's also taking it in this format only then it is like 1 1 0 but it is reversed what I meant by reverse is uh, the first number is 1 this is this number then the next number is this but actually in this as you can see it is like if you reverse this it will become 0 and 1 it will be like this not take this number take this number the the next will be 1 and 1 which is like take this take the both of the number then it will just reverse it it will be like 0 0 1 so just take this number so then it will be like reverse this so it will be like 1 0 1 so take 9 and 1 so as you can see this is forming this pattern so just like you have to find out this number if you are given the nth number find out its bit manipulation and then in the reverse format take out the numbers and take out the numbers and just print it out so that's the whole logic of this question uh, after doing this it will become very simple so you have to first find out how many bits are there because you have to know how many bits are there uh, in a very large number it will be 0 0 0 0 you should not like take this because uh, if you actually like flip it out it will be like 1 0 0 0 0 0 and so on so you don't have to take and consider all these numbers so what you can do here is you can also take this consider but the number is up to 10 to power 12. If you do a, a log base 2 of this it will be like 30, 39 digits and something so you will take 40 digits. So it will be like up to 40 numbers. So you can make this array which is 1, 3, 9 up to 40 places. 40 places. 40 numbers you will fill in, fill in this array and then you can use this format in which if you want to find out like the 6 number use this in bit manipulation this is the 6 number and reverse it it will be like 100 zero zero. 
and then take out these numbers so actually you should not reverse it it is actually what you can observe that and this is the number this is the zeroth place this is the first place this is the second place and this is and uh, actually this is the zeroth place this is the first place this is the second place so actually this is actually reverse only <laughs> you can see that this is 0 1 2 this is 0 1 2. this is actually reverse so you don't have to reverse it you just have to take out the same index if it is zero index take the zero index if this is the first index which is active take out the first index second index active second second index so this is 3 and 9 take out this index and print it out so that's the logic for this question let's move on to the code part code is also very simple take the vector of 40 numbers uh, insert all the 40 numbers in this vector you multiply every number with 3 and insert it find out the number of bits do everything in long long everything in long long find out the number of bits you can use this formula to find out the number of bits make a set to store all the numbers then iterate over all the bits from 0 till number number of bits and check that for every bit whether this bit is set if this is bit set is set then take out that ith number from this array and insert it in the set and because the set is sorted out or you can actually push it also in the vector also because they are actually sorted i have used the set but you can also use a vector because they are small numbers that's why i have used the set and then the, the set size is actually the total size of the set is the total number of numbers in this uh, subset you have taken out and then put out all the numbers i hope you understand the logic and the code of this question if you still have any doubts please mention now thank you for watching this video i'll see you in the next one keep coding bye